Many parts of the world remain under lockdown in the battle to contain COVID-19. The global death toll has passed 100,000 with nearly 2 million reported cases. The World Health Organization warns that lifting any lockdown measures too early could lead to a deadly resurgence in infections. Holly Williams is in Istanbul, Turkey, the latest country to restrict the movement of its citizens. Holly, good morning. Good morning. Well, uh, the government here in Turkey announced very late last night that 31 cities around the country uh, would go into a 48-hour curfew beginning at midnight, effectively banning most people from leaving their homes and allowing only pharmacies, uh, bakeries and essential services like hospitals uh, to remain open. As a result, people rushed to supermarkets to stock up and although things remained orderly in places, some panicked shoppers ignored social distancing advice and there were even multiple reports of fights breaking out. This morning here in Istanbul, morning here in Istanbul the streets are eerily quiet and security forces have been deployed uh, to enforce the curfew. Now in the United Kingdom the death toll now stands at almost 9,000 and yesterday 980 people died, uh, surpassing the worst daily figures even from places like Italy and Spain. One rare country is that the Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who was treated in an ICU this week, is now apparently up and walking again uh, and reportedly filling his time by doing Sudoku puzzles. Now, for people around the world uh, who've been living under lockdown in some cases for weeks now, the big question is how and when life might go back to normal. Well, Austria has announced that it is allowing some shops to reopen next week uh, and Denmark says that if its infection rate remains stable, it will reopen elementary schools mid-month. Michelle? Well, that would be good, some good news, but Sudoku, def Sudoku definitely might go to, too. Holly, thank you so much.